In tonight's Be Healthy, cutting edge research is underway in Connecticut to cure a condition that affects thousands of people here. David Bauman is still walking with a cane. He had one knee replaced in January and a total hip replacement in October. Well, the pain involved is, is really considerable. Could the answer to his and so many others long and painful recovery lie in this University of Connecticut Health Center laboratory? PhD grad student John Shepard looks at slides of a mouse joint with osteoarthritis. The cartilage shows up as red. This is a relatively normal looking cartilage here and this would be a area of damaged cartilage. You can see there's a tear. That breakdown of cartilage is what causes debilitating osteoarthritis which 21 million Americans suffer from. The joint cartilage um, within that helps people move when they when they walk and, and move around that cartilage wears down over time and it doesn't repair itself. Scientist Caroline Dealey is a Yukon associate professor heading up research here. It involves using human embryonic stem cells to actually make new cartilage and Dealey says the potential is endless with stem cells. One of the reasons they're so exciting is because they have the potential to form any tissue in the whole body. But the trick with that is telling the cells exactly what to do. What's being done here is a perfect example of what something called Bioscience Connecticut is all about. Taking cutting edge research and turning it into clinical developments that will change people's lives. They're on track to do just that here. Scientists have cracked a so-called instruction list actually telling stem cells to become cartilage. We've done that in the laboratory in a dish. Um, and now the next step is really to find out whether or not those cells can work. You know, can they do the job we want? She says the next step is to test it in an animal model with osteoarthritis. Studies are getting started with a grant from the Connecticut Stem Cell Program. For someone like David Bowman, who faces a right knee replacement next, it's encouraging. Uh, this at least allows me to hope for an improved quality of life, getting up, walking around, you know, being able to do things with my family. Now, a real result would still be years away, and UConn isn't the only place doing this, but the school did seek a patent on the technology. The hope is that someday it will lead to a commercial success, which would be a return on the state's investment.